Hey guys, it's Reenactor Man again. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in like 30 years, but um, I've been kind of busy. I've got all this schoolwork, so yeah. But anyway, I will be continuing my little series, which is the Vietnam War basics thing I've been doing. I kind of stole, but uh, this is just extra stuff you can have. You don't particularly need all this stuff, but it would it would be good to have it. So, first thing, uh, I'll start this. This is a inflatable mattress cover. Um, these are good to have um, as like little stretches that you can use on the field if you're doing reenacting. Um, you can see the clips on here, just the average snaps. But these, yeah, but as I said, these were used as air mattress holders, like little black tubes, you'd stuff them in here. So that will be something good to have, which you can use as a little stretcher if you have your poles for your hoochie. So that is something good to have. And do my next thing. Mind you, this is water waterproof. So next item is the hoochie itself. Uh, these are very, very good. Mine's in good condition. I feel it's really nice. Um, I, w I won't open it all up because then it's just going to like fill up my whole room. But it's a nice green colour. It's also waterproof. Um, I don't have the poles for it, but it is interesting. And um, a lot of troops would wrap their sleeping bags in these and just carry it in the spider packs which I will show as you can see in the background but very interesting on to my next item now I know these aren't correct but they do look a lot like them this is a mess kit so there are two of them uh, I'm not sure why but um, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with um, uh, I'm pretty sure I got told one was like for uh, what is it called? Uh, like your oral health? Yeah, that's right. Like shaving and everything you could use for some reason. But I don't know, I'm not sure on that. Average, got your handle. Um, the Vietnam War ones would have handles sticking out to the side, so you'd fold them into the middle and just hold it. Sort of like a butterfly handle, but on a mess tin. Yeah, there's two of them. Um, next item is... Your belt keepers. These are excellent to have. Well, not, they're not belt keepers, but they're belt blouses. So essentially, you'd wrap this around the top of your boot, stretch it around, then you'd clip it on. Then you can stuff a little bit of your pants through these, and it'll blouse them, so you don't have to tuck them into your pants, uh, your shoes, or boots. Very good to have, even if you're not doing reenacting. Next item is your hexi stove so I've, this isn't a proper Vietnam War one because I believe that they're more of a golden color but hexi stove this is just a nice little silver one I got so you just lay that essentially on the ground you've got your tablets I'll open them up so you essentially get this tablet out you would light it and then you would have your own little fire. You can see those in there. Little tablets. Very good to have, especially if you're going overnight for your reenactments. Now, I'm not sure how to, well I do know how to use one, it's just I have never used one in the field before. So, I wanna look at some instructions. Next is your toggle rope. Toggle rope will be very important. You'll be tying things together, helping with stretches, using for your hoochies. Um, uh, they're kind of getting harder to find now. Some people just use surplus green rope, which I guess is fine, but I wouldn't do that. I'd try and get an original one. But that's good to have. Your entrenching tool, of course. Mine has an original cover on it. I just have a random shovel in here. It's from Taiwan. So essentially, 
average cover, uh, unlike the US ones, it didn't have the two little hangers right here where you could put your bayonet or whatever you want. It's got slide keepers on there, little rivets on the side, your big snap, and you can tell that things are Australian if they have a green snap. They always painted things green. So, that's one good thing. Next thing is your compass pouch. Mine's in a trash condition, but essentially you have a little thing here, you'd snap that in. It's essentially the same one as the US ones, it's just different because of the colours. Um oh, got slide people on here. These are hang these are hung off the either the belt or the suspenders. I see a lot of people hanging them off the suspenders. Which I do sometimes. Depends. If I have my pack or not. This is your sleeping bag carrier. I won't do anything with it this video, but it's a good thing to have. These are nicknamed the spider or spider. Now, funny thing is, these are intended for sleeping bags, but most troops usually just use them for extra clothes. So, interesting. You can look at web gear reviews um, video on that, or uh, collect the next video on that. Now, as I was talking about before, this Fuchi could either be stored underneath the bum pack in that little area, or in there, wrapped around a sleeping bag. So, very cool. The next thing I have that I don't have here is a jumper. The Vietnam War jumpers. No, uh, wait. For sure. I do have something. Oh no, that's not it. But it is a jumper. It's sort of a greenish, like, a dark olive color. Uh, it's got little pads on it just to help with your moving. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the one I have is dated like 1990 or 1991 or something. So these were made pretty much a whole lot after the war. They didn't move on. So yeah, essentially that's all. But I will be getting different gear this time. And I will show you more eventually. But that is all I have for today. So thank you for watching. Um, if you want to get into Vietnam War reenacting, I'll put a link in the description um, to the group I'm part of. It's a very good group. Uh, the leaders, well not the leaders, like one of the admins names is Greg. He is a very good person. He will help get you kitted out. That's essentially how I got a lot of this stuff. Um, he just gives it to you and he's a really nice fella. So go check it out. It's a really good group. I just joined. Uh, so I'm trying to get people into it because, you know, reenacting in Australia is a bit less common than in the US. So, thank you for watching, it's been Reenactor Man. Um, I'll put a link in the description for where you can s try and find this stuff. Like, most of it will be in like a uh, second-hand shop, a Vinny shop or anything like that. Because you'd be surprised of what you'll find in there. Um, but very, very nice. Um, especially in like a Vinny's or something. But, anyway, I'll leave a description for where you can try and find these. But... Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.